What's up everybody? Welcome to another video. Jordan Stoltz here. Here at the, I guess, Stoltz Farm YouTube channel by now. Um, I'm standing out here in a canola field. And check this out, guys. It's all done. I guess I want to start the video with a little bit of an update today because it's been a while since I filmed, went hog wild filming some videos for a while with harvest going full force. But now dialing things back a little bit to my regularly scheduled programming and uh, have some updates for y'all. So this is the first one. Canola's all chopped off here. We finished canola over a week ago. You guys saw the video actually in the last one where we finished barley and wheat. So everything was finished up and we moved that day to canola. If you remember from the crop tour and my other reminders, we didn't have very much canola this year. It was two fields. This one I was just at, which is a pretty small one and one over by the highway. It only took us two days. We finished all of the canola harvest and now all we got left is soybeans and sunflowers. So more waiting, no harvest until probably mid-September. To be completely accurate, we do have a little bit more barley to combine because there were some weedy patches and wet spots that we left standing and we're going to cut those with the swather when there's no chance of rain, which is the other update. You can see as I'm driving here in the truck, the grass is pretty green and it looks a little bit different than it did in my last video. Things are pretty dry and pretty dead because we've been in this big old drought, but in the last week or so, we've gotten about four inches of rain, a little bit over that actually. Much, much needed rain, a little too late. Of course, we would have rather had it when the crops were growing, but it is what it is, and we finally have some moisture. Got the girls in the back seat here with me. We're about to head to the farmyard and start with today's work, choring today, because Harvest 2021 is on standby for right now. We've got all kinds of stuff here by the shop to work on. This is where the majority of our day is gonna be spent. I believe I'll kind of walk through the projects and then we actually have to go test some old barley. If you remember a few videos back, we took some old wheat from another bin site, uh, 30 years old or something like that. We also have barley down there. We're gonna probe it and see what kind of shape it's in. The projects we're working on today, this old backhoe, we're going to figure out why the bucket doesn't extend very fast something in there is going on. This is a new addition to the farm, this big mower. So we're going to get this all hooked up. We have it backed up to the three point, but it uh, doesn't quite line up. So we're gonna have to figure out how to tilt this down a little bit so it fits in our three point attachment, maybe play with it a little bit. And then this auger also needs a bearing. First, we're gonna head to that other site and probe that barley, see what we're dealing with. We'll go along. Come on. Here's our sample. I try to get a few different spots with that little probe, but uh, just a small sample, but it should be enough to kind of test things. Doesn't look too bad. No bugs really, except right on the edge, and those were dead. Feels pretty dry. We'll see if we can take it. Thing here before lunchtime this morning 
is testing out this new mower we got. I said in my little update, this was a new addition to the farm. Got this just to mow our creek, which gets a lot of thick rushes in it. And then also some ditches and stuff like that. Weedy patches that we need to knock some stuff down. Got a good deal on it. So I wanted to give it a shot and see if it'd be good for us. So 7510's taking this out right now just to test it out. We were working on it, messed with the blades, got the shaft all lubed up, and made sure that three-point fit on our tractor. So let's see how it goes. Give it a whirl. Actually looked like it worked pretty well. Cut everything pretty well. He's playing with the height a little bit, but the PTO shaft came off. We thought it was a little short. It doesn't really go on. It was right at the end of the shaft when we put it onto our tractor. So uh, we might have to get a different shaft for this thing that's a bit longer because we had, you know, an inch or two that that was in the shaft and apparently not enough because it popped off while he was mowing. So I guess the first test run of this mower was a success because it cut pretty well, but then not because the shaft broke. It's doing the drive of shame back to the shop. So we'll work on that, get this thing figured out. I think it's lunchtime though. Well, everybody, for the rest of the afternoon, we really fiddled with that auger the most. Kind of a bugger, as they say, to get that bearing off of the auger. And we got the new one on pretty fast, but getting it disassembled took a lot longer than expected. It was all jammed up. So that ate up most of our time this afternoon and uh, just about quitting time. So got the auger parked up back now, ready for more harvest this year, which of course will just be soybeans and sunflowers, which is yet to come in the next few weeks. Be sure you stay tuned for that. And while we're working on this auger, kind of heard a hissing sound, a loud hissing sound. Walked over to the 7510 that we were using to use this mower and test out earlier in this video. And this happened. It's always something. So I'd say that tire looks a little bit low. That'll warrant a service call from the tire shop to come out here. Unfortunately, uh, we're going to go get a spare tire from one of our other shed sites right now and then call it a day. So got to go get this spare tire because things happen. And everybody that'll do it for another video thank you for watching lots of stuff in this one i guess old barley stubborn augers flat tires and a little break in harvest big updates with canola getting done soybeans up to bat and i uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video i'll see you guys next time thank you for watching as always take it easy subscribe if you haven't already thank you all for watching